Hey guys, in my last video I went over how I painted this Imperial Fist Praetor. Now it's time to paint his base. Now if you haven't seen that video and you're wondering why the sword's undone, it's because I hadn't actually decided how I wanted to do the sword at this point. So please ignore that. If you go back and watch the previous video on how I painted the whole thing, you'll see the finished model at the end. For this base, it was fairly simple. I reverted back to some of my tried and true basing materials. This is just pine bark. I bought a bag from my local hardware store. I think it cost me 10 bucks for 10 kilograms or so of pine bark, which is way more than I will ever use, but it was the smallest bag that they had. I stuck that down with super glue and then surrounded the pieces of pine bark with some of my mixture of just filtered grit. I sealed that again with another quick layer of super glue and just left that to dry. I then primed the base black and gave it a dry brush of 50-50 black and Vallejo game color stonewall gray and then a secondary dry brush with just straight stonewall gray. I then went in with an airbrush and just started sketching where I wanted the bright points to be. So just using Liquitex titanium white ink, I carefully built up a few layers to create what you see here. I then went over and covered those white areas with Vallejo Fluoro Red. Uh, I think I used about five layers to get a fully opaque look over the top of that. Once that had dried, I went back in with white and just kind of pulling back from where I originally laid white, I re-established more highlights over the red. With fluoro colors, I like to go in and re-establish with a solid white and do kind of a tiered attack at brighter and brighter fluoro colors. I then went over with orange. So of course this is, you know, a slightly brighter color. Um, so obviously the white parts are now gonna be orange, but the red parts are now gonna be a deeper ready orange, obviously, cause we're kind of blending it all together. Think of it like, fluoro glazing. I did exactly the same again, covering a smaller area with white, and then went over that white with yellow fluoro paint. So I guess by this point you can kind of see what I'm doing here. It's, it's a very simple technique, simple strategy at doing this, but I find it really effective. Now of course you don't have to do this in these exact colors. You can play with anything you want. You can use uh, blues into greens into yellows and kind of mix it all together to get some sickly um, you know radioactive kind of look or whatever you feel like after the yellow dried um, I actually went back over it with another layer of fluoro orange and that kind of toned down the yellow a bit blended it all back together and made it a little bit more cohesive because that yellow was a little bit too much of a stark difference to the previous layers Then of course, the most important step to painting any base, and if you disagree with this, I don't care because you are wrong, is painting the rim of the base black. Then I was able to pin the model onto the base and uh, here's how he looks. Pretty happy with how this turned out for such a quick job. Um, you know, I think I painted this base in 30 minutes. So you can get very cool results for very little work, um, you know, just utilizing some certain products, certain techniques, and a little bit of creativity. I, I wouldn't even call it this creative. It's not particularly unique or anything, but you know, it makes an already bright model stand out that much more. Now, before I round out this video, I just wanna say thank you to my patrons. Um, you guys are the ones that help me create these videos and make it, you know, more of a viable way to spend my time, even though I do love it. So if you would like to join up and potentially support me, check out some of the tiers that I offer. I'm currently giving away a Serastus Knight that I painted in a previous video to one of my patrons, and that's coming up very soon because I'm making a whole bunch of videos at once, and this will come out before I go overseas, so I'm gonna be giving that away before then. Uh, so yeah, to cut it short, if you wanna support me, go check that out, and I will see you guys in the next video.